derivatives of inverse hyperbolic function. So, meron tayong anim na formulas dyan. Kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa sa pang-apat na formula, yung inverse hyperbolic cosecant of u, ang derivative nyan, negative du over absolute value ng u. So, dapat dito ha, naka-absolute lagi ito bago nyo i-multiply sa square root ng u squared plus 1. Tapos, ano pa? Ah, ito, yung inverse hyperbolic tangent tsaka yung inverse hyperbolic cotangent yung derivative nila magkatulad no so du over 1 minus u squared so ang restriction diyan dapat yung u mo greater than sa 1 okay so magbigay tayo ng mga examples para masagot ma practice natin kasi ang technique lang dito para ma ma memorize nyo practice lang practice ng solving Example number 1, find the derivative of inverse hyperbolic sine of 2x. So, ano yung formula nyan? Ito. So, du over square root of 1 plus u squared, diba? So, sulat muna natin yung formula. du over square root of 1 plus u squared. So, ang inside function natin dyan ay 2x. Tapos, pag in-squared natin itong u, Magiging 2 times 2 ay 4. Sa squared ng x, yan ay x squared. Tapos, ang du natin, derivative ng 2x ay 2. So, substitute natin ito dito sa formula. So, anong magiging answer natin dito? So, du, yan ay 2 over square root of 1 plus, ang u squared natin ay 4x squared. Okay? So, ito yung final answer natin sa 1. Example number 2, find the derivative of hy uh, inverse hyperbolic cosine of x squared. So, ang formula niyan, ito. So, du over square root of u squared minus 1. So, du over square root of u squared minus 1. So, ang inside function natin ay x squared. Tapos, ang derivative ng x squared ay 2x. So, substitute natin ito dito. So, ang du natin ay 2x. Tapos, ang denominator natin ay square root of. So, u squared. Squared ng x squared ay x raised to 4 minus 1. No? So, ganun lang kadali. Ito na yung answer natin sa number 2. Example number 3. Hanapin natin yung derivative ng inverse hyperbolic tangent of x minus 1 squared. So, ano ba yung formula nyo? Ito yun. du over 1 minus u squared. No? So, du over 1 minus u squared. So, ang u natin dyan ay x minus 1 squared. Tapos, ang derivative nyan ay so, chain rule. So, 2 times x minus 1 tapos yung exponent, bababawasan ng isa, so maging 1. Tapos derivative ng x minus 1, yan ay 1. So ang du natin dyan ay 2x minus 1. Okay? So ito yung sa substitute natin dito sa formula. So ang du natin yan ay 2 times x minus 1. Okay? Tapos nakadivide sila sa 1 minus... So, ito, squared natin itong x minus 1 squared. So, yan ay u squared is equal to x minus 1 raised to 4. So, ito yung isa substitute natin dito. So, x minus 1, ah, x minus 1 yan. x minus 1 raised to 4. So, ito yung final answer natin sa number 3. Example number 4. Hanapin natin yung derivative ng inverse cose, hyperbolic cosecant of negative square root of x. So, ano ba yung formula nyan? So, ito. So, negative du over absolute value of u times square root of u squared plus 1. So, kopyahin muna natin yung formula para masanay tayo, para ma-memorize natin. So, negative du over absolute value of u times square root of u squared plus 1. Okay? So, ang inside function natin ay 
negative square root of x. Ang derivative ng negative square root of x, di ba yan ay, so derivative ng square root ang function yan ay du over 2 times square root of u. So ang u natin ay x, so negative 1 over 2 times square root of x. So ito yung isa-substitute natin dito sa formula. So negative times yung du natin which is negative 1 over 2 times square root of x over so ang u natin ay negative square root of x pero naka absolute value yan ha times square root of so ang u squared natin ito squared natin ang negative square root of x negative square root of x squared plus 1 okay so, negative times negative yan ay magiging positive. So, 1 over 2 times square root of x over. So, absolute value ng negative square root of x, yan ay square root of x times square root of. So, ito, negative times negative, di ba naka squared, so magiging positive. Square root of x times square root of x, yan ay x. So, yan na lang matitira. Plus 1, okay? So, ano yung magiging final answer natin dito? So, yung, di ba kung ito ay i-divide nyo ito dito? So, i -re reciprocal nyo ito dito. Dito sa part na ito. So, i -re write natin. So, 1 over 2 times square root of x times, so ito yung numerator, di ba? Naka-over 1 yan. So, i -re reciprocal nyo. Magiging 1 over square root of x times square root of x plus 1 okay so 1 times 1 yan ay 1 over so 2 times 1 so ang co coefficient yan ay 1 so 2 square root of x times square root of x yan ay magiging x tapos ito yung square root of x plus 1 copy nyo lang yan oh. square root of x plus 1 so ang magiging final answer natin dito ay 1 over 2x times square root of x plus 1. So, ito yung final answer natin. Example number 5, hanapin natin yung derivative ng inverse hyperbolic second of 1 over e raised to x. So, ang formula nyan ay negative du over u times square root of 1 minus u squared. Ang u natin dyan ay 1 over e raised to x. So, derivative na to, di ba, natandaan nyo constant multiple rule, di ba? So, c times, negative c times dv over dx over v squared. So, para makuha natin yung derivative na to. So, ang constant natin dyan ay 1. Ang v natin dyan ay e raised to x. Ang derivative ng e raised to x ay e raised to x pa rin. So, input natin ito dito sa formula natin. So, ang du natin ay negative 1 times e raised to x over e raised to x na square, no? So, e raised to 2x. So, mapapansin nyo, makakancel itong e raised to x. So, mababawasan ng isa. So, ang du natin ay negative 1 over e raised to x. Tsaka natin to input dito sa formula natin. So, input natin. So, negative du. Negative times yung du natin. Negative 1 over e raised to x. All over. So, ang u natin ay 1 over e raised to x. So, 1 over e raised to x times square root of 1 minus ang u natin which is 1 over e raised to x then no. So, 1 over e raised to x. Naka-square sila. Okay. So, negative times negative yan ay positive. Tapos, 1 over e raised to x. Mag-cancel to. So, anong matitira? Yung denominator, ba? 1 over. So, mapapansin nyo, sa loob ng square root, ba ito ay fraction, ba? So, pag in-square mo yan, magiging 1 over e raised to 2x na to. So, itong e raised to 2x, pwede mong multiply dito para maging common denominator sila, ba? 
So, e raised to 2x minus 1 all over e raised to 2x. Naka-square root yung buong yan. So, anong mangyari dyan? Diba yan eh? 1 over... Itong numerator, mare-retain. So, maging e raised to 2x minus 1. Tapos, itong denominator, ang square root ng e raised to 2x, yan ay e raised to x, no? So, ano yung reciprocal nito? So, ang reciprocal nyan ay e raised to x over square root of e raised to 2x minus 1. So, ito yung final answer natin sa number 5. Okay, last example. Hanapin natin yung derivative ng inverse hyperbolic cotangent of square root of 1 minus x squared. So, ang formula nyan, katulad nito, is yung derivative ng inverse hyperbolic tangent of u. ba? So, du over 1 minus u squared. So, kopyahin natin yung formula. So, du over 1 minus u squared. So, next. Yung inside function natin ay square root of 1 minus x squared, di ba? Ang derivative nyan, derivative ng square root ng function, yun ay du over 2 times square root of u. So, derivative ng 1 minus x squared, yan ay negative 2x over 2 times square root of u, which is 1 minus x squared. Mapapansin nyo, makakancel ito. So, magiging du natin dyan ay negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay. So, input natin itong mga nakuha nating u at saka du dito sa formula natin. So, ang du natin ay negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Tapos, nakadivide sila sa 1 minus u squared. 1 minus... So, ang u natin, ito, square root of 1 minus x squared. Kung naka-squared yan, ito, tapos naka-squared din to, di ba maka-cancel yan? Mawawala yung radical. So, magiging 1 minus x squared na lang ito, di ba? So, next, kopyahin muna natin yung numerator, negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Tapos, itong 1 minus... So, itong negative i-distribute natin dito, maging negative 1. Ito magiging positive 1. Maka-cancel to. Diba? Magiging positive to. So, ayan, nakadivide sila sa x squared. So, mapapansin nyo, yung numerator nyo ay x. So, maka-cancel ito dito. Mababawasan ng isa. So, yung x over 1, diba ito? 1 over square root of x minus, 1 minus x squared. So, pag dinivide nyo siya dito sa x, multiply nyo siya sa re reciprocal nitong x. So, ito yung ibig sabihin na negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Diba, itatimes nyo sila sa reciprocal ng denominator. So, magiging final answer nyo dito ay negative 1 over x times square root of 1 minus x squared. So, ito yung final answer natin.